When I start working on a character, the most important thing personally is to be able to find what makes them tick. With Walt, it was a little more difficult because his emotional core was calloused over by years and years of depression. I had a tough time getting in there. Walter White's diagnosis of terminal lung cancer was a death sentence in one way, but it also exploded that cocooned emotional core and boom, out go his emotions. Say my name. Do what? I don't, I don't have a damn clue who the hell you are. Yeah, you do. I'm the cook. Say my name would probably be his motto because as he devolved into the man he became, I think his ego took over and that became a very important thing for him to, to have credit and to be known for something great and uh, that was his undoing. <laughs> When you play a character, you seem to own all of him. Walter White was, and will always be a part of me, and I will always be a part of him. Nothing comes free, not even good. With Lyndon Johnson, it wasn't too difficult after doing some research to find out that his emotional core was a need to be loved. He craved it with every fiber in his being needed acceptance and love, which makes him initially appear weak, but it was also a very strong motivating factor in his pursuit of accomplishments in his profession. You're hiding something out there. And it is gonna send us back to the Stone Age. I had a lot of fun shooting Godzilla. There's a significant amount of computer graphics. There was a lot of looking up to a large green screen with a laser pointer. There's his head, there's his tail, there's his, you know, it's like, wow. Entertainment comes in many different shapes, and this one happens to be in the shape of a giant lizard. <laughs> 